Hello everyone, good evening. My name is Vishwadeep and I welcome you on Unacademy's Computer Science channel for unlimited learning. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about magnetic disk and this is the part two. Yes, my friends, if you have some knowledge about magnetic disk, some basics, platers and uh, tracks and surfaces and all what these are, then this particular lecture can benefit you to understand more things about how exactly disk access time is calculated in this magnetic disk, how we can merge the questions of DMA and how exactly disk addressing works. So these are the topic of the day which we are going to discuss in this particular lecture. You are here just because you are preparing for gate computer science or you are preparing for your semester exam for this computer organization and architecture lecture. If you haven't seen me before, if you don't know who I am, here is my profile. My name is Vishwadeep. I have written the gate multiple times in computer science and I have cracked the gate multiple times along with the gate rank 19 in my final year. Yes, that was in my final year, engineering third year, 682, along with that 119, 440, there are certain ranks I scored in gate computer science. Here I went for my master's in IIC Bangalore, then I have completed another master's MTech in data science from Bitspilani recently in 2020, then I am having a rich experience of teaching in the gate domain for 9 plus years and 13 years to teach only engineers. I teach data structure course, I teach computer organization architecture course and I will take some sessions on coding interview preparations. Also, along with these courses which I am teaching on Unacademy, I have taken courses operating system and compiler design also before during my teaching. Okay, so why you are here just to learn and why I am here to provide you special free classes also plus paid classes also. Let me talk about special free classes first. If you download the Unacademy app or if you go to unacademy.com, search my profile Vishwadeep Gothi and you will follow that profile. What you will get after following, you will be getting the notification of all my classes which I conduct live for free. Yes, jihaan dosto, kaafi sari classes hain jo mein free mein leta hoon. So those classes you will be able to attend. As of now, right now I am taking a 4 p.m. class which is the revision of COA. So if you are looking for revision of COA, you can join 4 p.m. classes daily on an academy platform. Apart from that, it's not over buddy. There are so many special classes I have recorded I have, and I have kept those on an academy's platform for free. You can access those classes for free. You can learn lots of things. Like if you want to learn how to solve MSQ, I have many sessions in MSQ. Ke. If you want to know how to understand pipelining, that also, of course, I have recorded over there. Control unit, I have recorded over there. Tree in the data structure, I have recorded over there. So many rapid fire questions I have recorded over there. So you can go and learn from those questions also. Okay, now let's come to the point where you can learn in more effective way. Friends, learning from the free sources is always good when you don't want to spend the money, but this eats a lot of efforts from your time. You know why? Just because, just because there are so many doubts, if a small doubt is still there in your mind, that will be carried for a very, very long time. If you have lots and lots and lots of questions to solve, then there is no any problem, but you don't have. So if you want to have such kind of problem, solution then there is one particular one stop solution that is here on academy plus you come on an academy plus we will provide you live classes if you miss live classes all those classes will be recorded for you so you can learn from recorded classes also plus structured schedule we will be giving you that when a course starts when it will be finished then unlimited practice we will be giving you so many practice problems so that you will be having a feel like 
like whatever you want to prepare that particular thing that particular thing is being prepared whatever the gate coffee you want to have that we will give and along with that test series which are also included in the same plus subscription how you can take the subscription just go to the app or unacademy.com go for get subscription and take it using the discount how you can get the discount use the code vdeep10 if you use the code vdeep10 you will be getting the discount and that particular discount will be of 10% Okay, so remember the code VDEEP10. If you use the code, you will be able to get 10% discount. Plus, you will be able to get my mentorship who has Craig Gate multiple times, Rebaba. Okay, and other than that, if you are the person who needs extra push from outside world constantly, who needs motivation from outside world, who need a personal coach, who needs a study planner prepared by experts who need expert guidance very very frequently then you should go for iconic subscription iconic subscription is like this one to one coach will be assigned to you and that coach will track your performance your preparation and will make the planner for you will give you the timely basis feedback so that you can improve your understanding improve your whatever the mistakes you have done so that your preparation will be iconic and that iconic subscription also you can get into the discount by using this code vdeep10 my class is going to start on the data structure on an academy plus that is the new course i am going to launch from 21st of september and that course is data structure course but remember one plus one thing buddy for your gate preparation data structure is important yes but most important part of data structure is lying in your interviews if you are aiming for amazon microsoft google or any good company which ask only most of the time data structure problems only then you should have a good hands on practice on data structure and how you can do this course if you will be joining that is the multi purpose course that extra no much efforts and you will be able to learn those kind of codings also which will definitely improve your chances to get placed are main aise kaise baat kar sakta hu i have given the interview of microsoft i have given the interview of amazon i have cracked the interview of amazon also so i can teach you yes my friend i can teach you these kind of small small details okay fine so if you are done done with this look at this 8th of september i have started we have started a new batch gate warriors so that batch is not too far behind you are not too far behind join the unacademy plus as soon as possible and you will be learning in most effective way that i can assure i will teach my entire team will teach which is having great one of the or few of the greatest educators of entire country in this particular team we are having so you can bank on this team the team will support you the team will give you the guidance i will give you the mentorship and how you can get that mentorship using this code vdeep10 for your subscription okay so let's go further and before i start every time every time i used to ask the same question every time are you ready my friend are you ready or not jaldi se type box type karke batao comment box mein are you ready or not if you are ready for learning then only we will learn yes just because you should be energetic you should be excited you should be very very enthusiastic to learn and if you are here to learn definitely you should show your energy boss jaldi se if you are ready if you are ready just just message here in the comment box you are ready so that we can learn further jaldi se batao jaldi se batao okay so yesterday we have discussed small small things about the magnetic disk what is the arm what is the plater plater is having two surfaces i am recapping all those things kal ka baat kar raha hu main okay now we have discussed few more things like track or sector sector within the track then i explained you how you will calculate the sector ka capacity if it is or the entire disk ka capacity if you are having sector capacity constant and so on okay good 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 bahut badhiya bahut badhiya bahut badhiya shandar now this particular question yesterday we have solved this question yesterday we have solved already this question is there in your pre recorded session in the last class now based on this particular question we are going to solve another question look at this in the above question if the disk is used in cycle stealing mode of dma such that whenever a 64 bit word 
is available it is transferred in 16 nanoseconds what is the percentage of time cpu is blocked to jo kal humne question mein solve kiya tha ki disk ka speed is 200 megabyte per second that disk transfer rate we are going to use for solving a question of dma now see how beautifully we have merged two topics one is dma one is disk so based on yesterday's understanding this question we have already solved from this question we have got to know ki 200 megabytes per second is the transfer rate okay now if that is the transfer rate to prepare this byte 64 bits word and then transfer it in 16 nanosecond how much percentage of time cpu is blocked agar aapne pehle dma ke question solve kiye hain well and good nahi kiya hai so this is the speed or the transfer rate using which disk will prepare the content and content of how many bits 64 bits means how many bytes how many bytes are babu a 64 bit how many byte 8 byte so i will check out ki 8 byte ko prepare karne ke liye kitna time lagega is speed se with that speed how much time is required let's see let's see let's see so i can write down that my disk will prepare 200 megabytes in how much time prepared in how much time in the time one second in that case, if I want to know ki 8 bytes ko, for 8 bytes, the disk takes how much time to prepare, which is 1 second, divide by 200 MB into 8 byte. I guess aapko itna to clear ho Right, 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 right. So this byte to byte cancelled. Mega will go up micro. It becomes 8 divided by 200 microsecond. Right, right, right. This is given in nanosecond. Let's convert this in nanosecond. So I can multiply it by 1000. So it will become 8 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 200 nanosecond, which is nothing but 40 nanosecond. Confirm karo jaldi se samaj mein aaya hai nahi? Confirm it if you could understand it or not. That is the preparation time. This is the preparation time. 40 nanosecond is required to prepare this 64 bit or 8 byte ka word. Now to transfer how much time required? 16 nanoseconds. If 16 nanosecond is transfer time, during the transfer bus is used. Yes, CPU is blocked, of course. Then how much percentage of time CPU is blocked? Percentage of time CPU is blocked is equal to or is equal to <laughs> okay 16 divided by 40 into 100 percent ye kyun likha transfer time in that time in that particular time bus is used by the dma controller and cpu is blocked that preparation time in that cpu is not blocked Okay, 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 okay. And how much it will be? How much it will be? 2 by 5? 2 by 5 or how much? Jaldi se batao, jaldi se batao, jaldi se batao, jaldi se batao, re babu. 40%. How much it is? 40%. No, less or more. Kitna hai? Jaldi batao, re. 40%. Okay, great. Chale. Okay, so 40% of the time CPU will be blocked because of DMA. This is the transfer speed which you have calculated yesterday. So if such kind of question comes, you can merge the transfer rate of the disk as, as to prepare the data and then you can go further with regular understanding which I have explained in the classroom. Are, I have class in the Go and check that video. Okay, all the members here present, if you haven't liked the video, like it so that I can mark your attendance that yes you are learning properly here now another topic which we are going to discuss today is multiple sectors access time of course yeah, one sector capacity is just maybe 512 bytes or one kilobyte but we store the files of larger than that size are ek song hi aapka 3 mb ka hota hai hota hai ya nahi hota hai 3 4 mb mp3 file you have right so if you want to store that file, you will have to use multiple sectors. 
एंड सपोज यू डबल क्लिक ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर फाइल आप एक गाना प्ले करना चाहते हैं आपके कंप्यूटर सिस्टम में व्हाट हैपेंस व्हाट हैपेंस यू नीड टू एक्सेस दैट फ्रॉम योर हार्ड डिस्क यस हाउ यू एक्सेस ऑफ कोर्स यू नीड टू रीड मोर देन वन सेक्टर सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू एक्सेस मल्टीपल सेक्टर्स फ्रॉम द डिस्क देन हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट दैट टाइम तो उसके लिए हमें दो अलग अलग टाइप के एक्सेस टाइम देखने होंगे हाउ वाई हाउ वाई लेट सी लेट सी दिस वन सो फर्स्ट वन इज सीक्वेंशियल व्हाट इट सेज व्हाट इट सेज की 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 द See, suppose this one. Right now, read right here. This here, and from here to here, I'll have to transfer multiple sectors which are stored on the same track consecutively. If you have listened my lecture from yesterday, I told you such kind of thing is known as a cluster. So, if you want to transfer a cluster of cluster of sectors like this way. कि आपको एक ही track के multiple sectors transfer करना है. then then it will be sequential multiple access or multiple sector access if this is the case then how much time required for this i am having really beautiful example it's a little negative one but aapko samajh mein zarur aayega kyunki ye aapke gaming se ya movies ke ya jo general aapka knowledge hai usse related hai so listen the example suppose you are a contract killer i told you already it's a negative kind of example but it's very beautiful to understand suppose you are a contract killer and you take the contract to kill the people suppose somebody some client of you has given you a contract to kill five members panch logo ko maarne ke liye aapko bola gaya dekho aapko andar se itna feel aa raha hai bada maza aa raha hai right <laughs> listen 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 just understand the example then i'll try to map it here you will be able to understand this particular concept very easily so listen concentrate and understand what am i saying so you have been given a particular contract to kill five members now suppose you got to know that these five members are staying in a particular hotel room so from your place to that place that hotel room you are traveling so you will require some travel time yes from there to hotel to a specific room you are traveling again yes time required yes after that as soon as you reach to that particular room after that how much time you require only to kill five members kill first person second person third person fourth person fifth person and done so if you want to kill five members who are staying in the same apartment same room then what happens in that case only one time traveling time required after that only killing 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 time but just imagine just imagine if you are going to kill five members and all those five members are on five different locations what happens first of all you will start from your place you will go to a specific place then then you will go to a specific place then you will do what you will kill that fellow after that from there to again second person's place you will have to travel yes it will take time yes just because all those fellows are living on different different places so from first person to second person place travel time required yes and again killing time then third person ke liye you will require the travel time yes and killing time then fourth person's travel time yes killing time yes so how many times you will have to travel five times and how many times you will have to uh, you will require the killing time five times so if i will talk about the first thing sequential access like read write head is right now here and i want to access i want to transfer five or four or some multiple sectors which are stored sequentially then once i will reach to this starting sector once i will reach to the starting sector i will rotate the disk hence i will only transfer 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 and work the so i will require only multiple times transfer time only one time only one time what only one time or only one time traveling time traveling time matlab seek time and rotational latency traveling means to reach to that particular starting sector usko maine traveling time bola hai yahan pe which includes seek time and rotational latency right so in this particular case suppose i'll have to i'll have to transfer n number of sectors then i want to write a simple formula n sector transfer time will be how much 
n sector transfer time will be how much n sector transfer time will be equal to only one time seek time is required plus only one time rotational latency is required plus how many times transfer time required n times kyun kyunki n sector ko transfer karna hai isliye just because we are transferring n sector so n times one sector transfer time i hope this is clear to everybody here can you please acknowledge jaldi se batao samajh mein aaya ki nahi aaya dimag mein ghusa ki nahi ghusa ke upar se nikal gaya चलिए जल्दी से देखो इफ इफ यू आर क्लियर अबाउट दिस इफ यू आर क्लियर अबाउट दिस एक्नोलेज सो दैट आई कैन गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन विच इज रैंडम लोकेशन रैंडम मींस पांचों लोग जिन्हें आपको किल करना है वो अलग अलग जगह पे हैं ऑल फाइव मेंबर्स विच यू वांट टू किल आर ऑन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लोकेशन मीन्स द फाइव सेक्टर्स विच यू वॉन्ट टू विच यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रांसफर ऑल दीज आर ऑन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लोकेशन इन दैट केस वॉट हैपन्स for first sector you will require travel time yes what is travel time seek time plus rotational latency so seek time rotational latency required for first one yes and transfer time wo to lagega hi lagega and after that for second one yes third one yes fourth one yes how many times how many times you will require all three times n times how many times n times so how should i write the formula of n sector transfer time n sector transfer time ka formula kya likhunga main that will be equal to n times you are going to have total time seek time plus rotational latency plus kya likhu one sector transfer एक छोटा सा एग्जाम्पल देख लेते हैं इस क्वेश्चन के लिए सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड कि हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन ओके फाइन ओके फाइन डोंट वरी डोंट वरी दिस सैटरडे टूमोरो ट्वेल्व टू टू पी एम यस फॉर टू आवर्स आई एम गोइंग टू कंडक्ट अ मैराथन सेशन फॉर यू गाइज एंड दैट विल बी ऑफ डी पी पी डेली प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस डिस्क आई हैव टेकन सो मेनी क्वेश्चन दो क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व we yes we both i will also solve you will also solve along with me and let's see who wins the race right we will have a competition let's see if you can solve the question before me or not yes i'll be happy if you will be beating me just because i want your rank okay fine so tomorrow remember 12 pm same channel this particular same face same disc topic so many questions we are going to solve tomorrow so you just come and you just bring all your friends also okay fine so next 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 we will see a particular question a particular question fine okay very simple already seen you have seen this question multiple times but again i want to explain you with the concept which i explained you an application loads 100 libraries at startup so jab bhi aap start karenge ek 100 libraries ka ek pura set will be loaded by an application a software loading each library requires exactly one disk access so one library one disk access 100 libraries 100 disk accesses okay the seek time of the disk to a random location is 10 millisecond fine rotational speed of the disk is this much fine if all 100 libraries are loaded from random locations on the disk dekho clear cut likha hai means for each load loading of the library we will require the what seek time rotational latency right of course transfer time to required hai hi hai let's see what what they have given further how long does it take to load all the libraries the another statement they have written there the time to transfer the data from the disk block once the head has been positioned at the start of the block may be neglected matlab ki data transfer rate is zero data transfer rate is neglected means only seek time and rotational latency is required 
दैट इज वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन बहुत आसान क्वेश्चन है बहुत 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 आसान क्वेश्चन है बहुत बहुत आसान क्वेश्चन है ओके नाउ लिसन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इजी एंड लेट्स सी वो लेट्स सी हाउ टू सॉल्व दैट सो वन सेक्टर ट्रांसफर टाइम वी नीड टू इग्नोर व्हाई जस्ट बिकॉज जस्ट बिकॉज ए क्लियरली मेंशन दैट द ट्रेंड्स ट्रांसफर टाइम इज नेग्लेक्टेड Seek time already given. Yes, already given. Yes, given millisecond. How to calculate rotational latency? If you have have watched my yesterday's lecture, I have clear cut mentioned that if the current head position and the target head position is given, then you can calculate the rotational latency based on it. If not given, then you are going to use what? Type करो जल्दी से इंटरेक्ट करो एवरेज रोटेशनल लेटेंसी एंड दैट विल बी हाफ ऑफ वन रोटेशन टाइम हाउ यू कैलकुलेट हाफ ऑफ वन रोटेशन टाइम फ्रॉम दिस सिक्स थाउजेंड आर पी एम सो फॉर सिक्स थाउजेंड रोटेशन हाउ मच टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सिक्स थाउजेंड रोटेशन माई डिस्क टेक्स टाइम इज इक्वल टू वन मिनिट विच इज नथिंग बट सिक्सटी सेकेंड I am writing it as sixty into one thousand milliseconds. Why? Just because other quantity is given in millisecond. Here, half ten millisecond. Sixty into one thousand millisecond. Then for one rotation, how much time is taken by the disc? Is equal to sixty. Thousand millisecond divided by six thousand. Answer is ten millisecond. If ten millisecond is one rotation time, then as I told you, the average rotational latency will be how much? Average rotational latency will be equal to half of this one rotation time. So average rotational latency is equal to ten by two five milliseconds. Now, as they have told, ki hundred libraries will require to be loaded, and one disk access, one library is loaded, so I'll need hundred access time. So first of all, let's calculate. Let's calculate one disk ka access time. If one disk access time I want to calculate, one disk access time will be how much? It will be seek time given in the question. Yes, ten millisecond plus. रोटेशनल एंडीजी फाइव प्लस ट्रांसफर टाइम जीरो वाई अरे मल्टीपल टाइम्स आई एक्सप्लेन यू द सेम थिंग ट्रांसफर टाइम दे हैव टोल्ड जीरो दैट्स वाई आई निग्लेक्ट करो ओके फिफ्टीन मिली सेकेंड दैट इज वन डिस्क एक्सेस टाइम आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट वन हंड्रेड डिस्क एक्सेस टाइम वाई जस्ट बिकॉज वन हंड्रेड लाइब्रेरीज विल टेक वन हंड्रेड एक्सेस हैंस वन हंड्रेड इंटू फिफ्टीन मिली सेकेंड विच इज फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड विच इज नथिंग बट वन पॉइंट फाइव सेकेंड्स options given in the second so i'll go with c option great 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 superb 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 bahut badhiya bahut badhiya bahut badhiya if you are able to follow me if you are able to follow the answers that's that's amazing that's amazing that's amazing okay okay fine now let's go for the next one another thing is a term called as cylinder but before i will explain you this cylinder i want to talk about this particular thing ki why this cylinder term has been given and why it is so important in the disk access what is the computer organization ka definition computer organization says that we need to implement such kind of policies so that we can improve the performance we need to implement the architecture of computer in such a way that we can improve the performance and this cylinder term is exactly complementing the same thing that we want to improve the performance if you read the books If you read the operating system and disk scheduling, you will read over there that seek time is very very important in the disk access. Seek time is very very important in the disk access, and somehow somehow if we can make it less, somehow if we can reduce it, कुछ भी करके कम कर देंगे. then definitely it will improve the performance of the system a lot and how we can reduce it by introducing the concept of cylinder by introducing the concept of cylinder i want to ask you a very personal question okay if you are sitting on your bed and studying and suppose from 1 foot or 2 feet distance one particular charger is there that you want to fetch from there will you get up from the bed no you will crawl aise karke khinch jaoge but you will not get up from your bed you know why ek bar baith gaye to ab hilne ka nahi boss 
If one time you have positioned on one place, then you will not move. You will crawl here and there to get the books, pen, mobile charger or whatever, but you will not get up from your place. Right? Exactly. Exactly same concept we want to implement here in the cylinder. Same thing we implement in the cylinder. Mein. Look at this particular thing. Ki what happens? What happens? Suppose this read-write head is here on this particular track. Then you know what happens? All the read-write heads will move together. If suppose one read-write head or one arm is moving, then all the arms move together like this way. Yes, exactly. So if I am saying, if I am saying that this read write head is on the innermost track, all the read write heads will be on the innermost track only. Right, 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 right. Now listen. Now listen. I have given you, I have appointed you to store some data into the disk. I told you that okay, you 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 just manage this particular thing. Ki you will have to store some large amount of data into the disk. So what you did based on the based on the seek time you have placed you have placed this read write head over here. And after that you told okay sir from here I will start storing the data here 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 complete track complete track you have covered this one complete track you have covered. After that. You think like this way, ki let's move the arm and then on the same surface we will store the content on these particular sectors. Na, 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 na. We will not move our read write head. You know why? Look at this. If I am saying ki this read write head is on the innermost track, sare ke sare bhi to innermost track pe hai. All the inner, all the read write heads are in the innermost track. So what we will do in this particular case? What we will do in this particular case? We will not go. We will not move our read write head. We will not move our arm. Arm is positioned. We will cover. The lower surface ka same innermost track, and we will store remaining data over there. And what we did, kya, kya kar liya aisa karke humne? we have saved time. We have not moved the disk, yes, we have not moved the arm, yes. Means se means seek time is required. No, no, any seek time required. No any seek time required and we can just rotate the disk so that we can transfer the data on the lower side. Be behind this another surface is there lower side right that particular surface and the innermost track only will be covered for data storage. Then after that we will go for the next surface this one read write head is still here yes and you can save still some more seek time and you can store data here then below surface then here and here and here. So what exactly you are doing is you are saving lot of seek time or uski wajay se aapka sector ka access time aapke file ka access time will be improved a lot. Okay so remember this particular point in your mind or in your notes wherever you want ki cylinder ka concept came into the picture just because we store the content in the hard disk like this way ki we don't move the arm once it is positioned until entire same track innermost 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 track are covered and now this one. Suppose I will take this innermost track from here, then same platter below surface, then above surface, below surface, upper surface, lower surface. All these track of same radius collectively will form a logical kind of unit which is called a cylinder. So if you are understanding the concept of cylinder, then what is cylinder? Why it is used? Cylinder Q use hota hai. Cylinder is used to improve the system's performance, right? So I am writing a point here that cylinder is used for what? To improve the performance of the disk and the data. The content in the disk is stored cylinder wise stored cylinder wise and why just because we want to save seek time cylinder wise to save seek time 
if you are clear about this what is the cylinder okay if you are clear about this i have brought your definition also collection of the tracks of the same radius from all surfaces sari surfaces say if same radius track you are taking collection that particular form a cylinder so if i am asking this is one cylinder of course right how many total cylinder we can have in the entire disk which is equal to how many tracks we have in the surface okay so i am writing a statement here number of cylinder in the disk is equal to how many is equal to number of tracks per surface okay 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 if you are fine then disk will always be accessed remember cylinder wise how how disk will be accessed cylinder wise first of all you will take out the first surface first particular track of this cylinder and you will cover up entire this this track then you will go to the lower surface and there you will cover the same radius innermost track then this one then this one then upper one lower one and it goes on okay so that's how the data is stored and that's why this cylinder is very very important to improve the system's performance the disk access performance okay if you are clear about this let's go with another question which is very very interesting one i will explain you how to solve such question with certain example and i will explain you that how you can map your regular learning from this particular question so that you will be able to understand ki acha aisa 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 hota hai so i'll be giving you one example with that example you will be understanding how exactly this happens so a hard disk has 63 sectors per track in one track 63 sectors 10 platers each with two recording surfaces 10 platers two surfaces total surfaces are how many total number of surfaces will be how many the hash means number of is equal to 20 1000 cylinders okay the address of a sector is given as a triplet c h s c is cylinder number h is surface number and s is sector number to so, pehle cylinder uske andar surface and in that sir sector so first of all cylinder then after that in that surface and in after that sector but look at this if i say cylinder number this one innermost cylinder in that if i talk about surface do we cover entire surface do we cover all the sectors all the tracks no we will cover only one track from that surface under that cylinder us cylinder ke andar only one particular track which is there inside that cylinder only so if i talk about surface means only one track i am talking about from that surface which is under the cylinder i guess aap logo ko samajh mein aa raha hoga now let's see let's try to understand few more things further so cell cylinder number surface number sector number like this you are providing the address Zero at sector is having address zero zero zero. First sector having address zero zero one, and so on. Then this particular address belongs to which sector? Like if I will talk about that, what is the address of second sector? You will say zero zero two. Third sector zero zero three, and so on. So this particular address is which number sector's address? Okay. So before we understand this, I will have to explain you how the addressing works, and based on that, we will try to solve this question, which is very easy, my friend. बहुत आसान है, conceptual question है. If you will be here with me, you will be able to understand this one, and you will be able to learn how to solve such questions. Okay. Now listen. Let's suppose I am talking about innermost cylinder, which is the zero x cylinder. Why I am saying zero x cylinder? why just because they have only started the numbering from zero re baba ye dekho na zero se start kiya hai zero 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 cylinder number zero in that surface number zero sector number zero numbering starts from zero okay so let's say zero at cylinder in the zero at cylinder the very first very first zero at sector has address what zero comma zero comma zero After that, first sector is having address what zero comma zero comma one. Second sector, third sector, 
how many sector we have on the same surface same surface is nothing but same track so on the track you are having total 63 sectors only means if you will continue this procedure then for 62 sector number you will be having address 0 comma 0 comma 62 total 63 sectors are done from the same surface us cylinder ke under you will be having total how many total 63 0 to 62 numbering ka sectors you have and this is done for this current surface on this surface now you don't have more sectors now you will have to switch to other surface which is the lowest one, lower one this one ab agar us surface pe jana hai to surface number will change yes so if i will ask you ki what is the address for 63rd sector number then it will be 0 comma first surface ka now sector number again start from 0 and from here i will continue more 63 sectors yes so it will be 125th sector 125th sector zero se numbering start ho hai, that's why and it will be having address 0 comma 1 comma 62 similarly how many total surfaces you are having in the disk it is equal to 20 which is nothing but 0 to 19 can i say can I say 0 to 19? Hey, yes, if 0 to 19 surfaces are there, then if I want to continue this 0th cylinder, ka all the addressing, then at the end, at the end, I'll be having addresses for last surface like this way. The last surface will have 0, 19, 0 se leke 0, 19, 62. Can you tell me this particular address belongs to which sector? So I have covered 0th, 0th surface. This is my 0th surface. Then after that, I have covered this is first surface. Similarly, I have covered 19th surface. Total how many surfaces you have covered? Total 20 surfaces. Or her egg surface may in each surface you had 63, 63, 63 sectors. Then if I want to calculate how many number of sectors you have per cylinder. Egg cylinder may how many sectors you had. Total 20 surfaces. Each surface had 63 sectors. Answer is 1260. 1260 total number of sectors. Hence this last address should belong to 1259. Jalli se acknowledge karo kya samaj mein aaya hai. Acknowledge it if you could understand or not. If you could understand this or not. So last particular address belongs to 1259th sector. And this address is 0, 19, 62. Similarly, you will go for first cylinder number. Ab ye pura cylinder cover ho gaya. Zero at cylinder is covered now. Now you will have to move to the next cylinder, which is cylinder number one. So for cylinder number one, addressing will be 1, 0, 0 to 1, 19, 62. And that first cylinder also will cover how many? 1260 total sectors. Such kind of you are giving the numbering, giving the numbering to 0th cylinder, then 1st cylinder, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Kis number pe pahunch gaye ho? You have reached to 400th cylinder. You have reached to 400th cylinder. You are inside the 400th cylinder. Before 400th cylinder, how many cylinders you have already covered? 0 to 399. 0 to 399. 0 to 399 means total 400 cylinders completely you have covered. Pura pura cover ki aapne and then each cylinder was having 1260, 1260, 1260 sectors. So how many sectors are gone in those 400 cylinders? Let's try to calculate. So number of sectors covered. in those starting how many 400 in those 400 which are 0 to 399 cylinders aapne 400 cylinder ko pura cover nahi kiya hai isliye 401 nahi likha you haven't covered the 400 cylinder completely you are inside the 400 one so in the halfway right that's why number of sectors covered in 400 cylinders 
is equal to 400 cylinders and each cylinder having 1260 number of sectors. It will be 30 to Akri It will be 504000. These many, these many sectors you have covered already in these 400 cylinders. Now go further. Now go further. How many number of sectors you have covered in? Look at this. Look at this. 400 cylinder done. Yes, 0 to 399 done. You have entered into 400th one and you, and you have reached to which particular? You have reached to which particular? 16th surface. Means 0 to 15 already covered? Yes, covered. 0 to 15 already covered? Yes, that's that's why you are going to calculate key from 0 to 16. 0 to 15, how many? 0 to 15, how many total 16 surfaces you have covered? In those 16 surfaces, how many? How many sectors are covered in those surfaces? Each particular surface was having how many? 16 total surfaces and each was having 63 sectors each. 63 into 16, it will be 1008. Now you are in which particular surface? You have reached to the 16th surface in that which number? 29th number sector. Hence, you just cover 29 sectors more and that will give you that sector number whose address is this 400,16,29. That will be 730505. 505037 option C is correct. And what we did here, what we did here, what we did here, what we did here is this. Let's assume, okay, uh, let me write down it like this way. Let's assume, let's assume. Number of sectors, number of sectors per cylinder, sectors per cylinder is equal to NC, N number of sectors, okay, and number of sectors per track, number of sectors per track, here in this example 63, I am taking it as NT, what we did, what we did in the address, address was 400 comma 16 comma 29. What we did here in the 400, we have multiplied 1260, which is number of sectors per cylinder. So this sector number, if I want to calculate ki ye kiska address hai, whose address is given, whatever this format is given, C, H and S. So an address format is given CHS. In that CHS, multiply this particular C by what? 1260, which is nothing but NC plus. The surface number H multiplied by 63, which is nothing but number of sectors per track NT plus S. That's how you can calculate what? You can calculate the sector number whose address is given as 16, uh, this uh, 400, 16, 29. I hope you have understood I hope you could understand this much. Now let's go further and let's try to understand. Let's try to understand the reverse one. Reverse one means this time this address was given and you had calculated this one. If reverse is given, this sector number is given, how you will calculate the address for it? You will reverse kar lenge na? Okay, another question it is. Another question, 1039th sector will have address what? So, simple method, you can have four options are given. Apply this formula and get the answer. Apply this formula and get the answer. I will tell you other method also. First of all, let's do this one. So, if you will apply the formula 0 into NT, sorry, NC, num C is given 0, 15 into NT, NT number of sectors per track 63 plus 31. So apply these, I will tell you directly the correct answer is C. How you will do it? 0 into 1260 plus 63 into 16 plus 31. And that will give you 1008 plus 31, 1039. 
Hence, C option is correct. See why I have given you direct answer just because I don't want you to hit and try like this. If question comes which doesn't include the option or some some kind of other kind of question has been asked, then you will get trapped. You will be trapped. You will be trapped. So I want to explain you an example. Through that example, I will clarify your every single concept of this explanation. आपको रुकना पड़ेगा आपको पहले तो एक्नॉलेज करना पड़ेगा कि यू वांट टू लर्न थ्रू एग्जांपल और यू जस्ट वांट टू गो थ्रू दिस वे ओनली इफ यू वांट टू लर्न थ्रू एग्जांपल जस्ट टाइप डाउन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो दैट आई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू ओके 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 सो आई एम वेटिंग फॉर यू इफ यू विल बी टाइपिंग यस यू वांट दैट एग्जांपल आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू विद दैट एग्जांपल ओके फाइन टाइप डाउन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स टाइप डाउन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स टाइप डाउन इन द कमेंट बॉक्स लेट्स लेट्स गो फर्दर एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड what exactly that particular example is so let's assume one institution is conducting an exam let's say gate exam only okay so gate exam is being conducted in the single city and in the single city that gate exam people have you know taken so many buildings these are the buildings building number 0 building number 1 building number 2 building number 3 so many buildings they have taken okay so so many buildings suppose each building each building having 10 number of rooms what are those 10 number of rooms 0 to 9 so har ek building mein you have 10 numbers room and each room capacity is 100 each room in each room we can ask 100 students to sit and write the exam can you tell me what is the building capacity for students in building 10 rooms each room 100 students then i can write down like this way ki number of students in each building will be how many 10 rooms is equal to 1000 students kya ye theek hai if that is fine then look at this every number i have given the numbering from 0 all the students which are coming into my examination all those students i have given the i have given the roll number starting from 0 so very first student having the roll number 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on and i ask those students to sit in sequence manner like student number 0 will go to the building number 0 in that room number 0 and in that if you have 100 student in each room us room ka bhi from the in that room also that student will be given the room uh, student number 0 so that roll number 0 student will sit here roll number 1 2 3 4 5 up to 19 oh, 99 99 means 99 means one room pack then 100 roll number 100 will go to the next room then up to 999 1000 students will sit in this building after that next 1000 here next 1000 here next 1000 here and so on now listen i will ask a very simple question and you will give me the correct answer i know i can bet on this ki you will definitely give me correct answer without my explanation mujhe pakka yakeen hai aapke intelligence aapke smartness pe ki you will definitely give me the answer suppose 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 a student comes and that student is having roll number that student is having roll number is equal to 6593 That student wants to know from you, sir, I am sitting. Ma'am, where should I sit? Then what you will say? Which building number in that? Which room number in that? Which student number of that room? Just because every room also having hundred students, zero zero to ninety nine. So first of all, you need to understand each building having thousand. So zero to nine 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 gone here, thousand to one triple nine gone here, two thousand to two triple nine gone here, three thousand to three triple nine gone here, four thousand students, five thousand, six thousand. So if number of students are more than six thousand, the person, the student will definitely will go into sixth building. Sixth building means zero to five gone in the next sixth building. क्या आप एग्री करते हैं इस चीज से आर यू एग्री विद दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट और नॉट कि दैट पर्टिकुलर फेलो शुड गो इन टू द बिल्डिंग नंबर सिक्स एंड हाउ कूड यू एक्सट्रैक्ट दैट यू कूड एक्सट्रैक्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर बिल्डिंग नंबर बाय डिवाइडिंग दिस सिक्स फाइव नाइन थ्री 
by 1000 and what is 1000 number of students in each building number of students in each building if you will do this if you will divide this particular 6593 by by this 1000 then you will get what the integer number you will be getting 6 that is the building number now in that building you have 100, 100, 100, 100, so many, so many rooms of 100 students each. What you will do, you will extract that 593. Why? Are 600 students, sorry, 6000 students already you have skipped from building number 0 to building number 5. Now you are in building number 6. Now the challenge is 593 students only within this building. So 593 within this building, how you will extract that 593 number? Mathematically, you take the mod of this number by 1000. If you take the mod by 1000, then you will get only 593. So what you will do next is 6593 and you are taking mod by 1000. So you will be getting what? You will be getting only 593. Now you tell me 593 students you are asking first 100 in first room, 0th room, first room, next 100, second room, next 100, second, third room, next 100. How many such rooms are required to cover only starting 500 students? 5 rooms, 0 to 4 gone. Now this 593rd student is in which room? 5th room. And how did you get that? 5th room kaise mila? This 593 you will extract and you will divide it by room ka capacity of 100. And that will give you value 5 and that will give you nothing but the room number in which that fellow should sit. In that room number 5, which sequence? Which sequence? Which sequence? So, 500 hata do. You remove 500. How much is remaining? 93. So, that fellow's roll number is 93 in that specific fifth room. And how can you remove 500 from this number? You will remove 590, uh, 500 from 593 by taking modulus by 100. So, if you want to know the student number, then how can you get student number? Student number you will be getting by 6593 modulus 1000 which will give you 593 and modulus 100 will give you what? 93 which is the roll number of that student. If you could understand this much, agar aapko itna samaj mein aaya hai, let's map the same thing to your disk. Here whatever the building we have, whatever the building I have given you, that building is nothing but the cylinder, biggest thing. In the cylinder you have surfaces, yes those are the rooms. So if I am talking about room, that room is nothing but surface. And other than that, last thing is student. Student is nothing but. Ab ye to answer aapko bhi pata hai na, dost. Sector. Yes. So if I am talking about number of students in each building, nothing but number of total sur sectors in a surface, in a cylinder, in a cylinder. Okay. So whatever, whatever we have did this one, this particular thing, if this sector number is given, I want to calculate the address like this way, I will do this particular operation. So what is this operation? Let's talk about this. I will write down the formula here on this page so that you can remember those in your notes. So if I want to calculate first thing is cylinder number, biggest thing C, what I will do is whatever the sector number is given, jo sector number given hai, uska aapko division lena hai by number of sectors per cylinder. Here is 1000 number of student per building, number of sectors per cylinder was what? Whatever it is, I have taken in my formula NC. So number of sectors per cylinder NC. After that, if I want to get H, to kya karenge? In this division, whatever, whatever the remainder you are getting, take that. So I am going for this sector number modulus NC. To kya milega? Remaining sectors. And then divide this by number of sectors per track, which is NT. And at the end, if I want to get the sector number within the surface, that will be whatever the sector number given, 
that modulus nc will subtract so many sectors in initial cylinders then modulus by nt will give you the surface or uh, that sector number so if you are clear about this aapko formula yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai mere dosto my friends my dear students you don't have to remember the formulas you will have to understand the concept now listen i again and again tell you ki if i am explaining you this much here and if you are understanding properly now see if you will solve 15 questions of the same topic how much inside story you can get it out of it and that's what the perfect preparation of gate exam and that is what we do on an academy plus when we understand a concept we solve so many small small questions from a single topic so that you will be able to solve all type of question in the gate exam and that is what the beauty of an academy plus so i again and again when i pitch ki you need to understand the question solution you need to understand the problem solving which is more important in gate that is really important boss i have written the gate multiple times and i have seen that ki problem solving is how much important and for that if you want to improve this is the code use the code vdeep10 and you will be able to get the discount but join an academy plus so that you will be getting such kind of so much so many opportunity to learn to understand and implement that learning for solution of multiple such questions right okay okay fine so this particular question ka solution i have already given to you these formulas you remember before you leave like the video if you haven't liked subscribe the channel and this is the schedule right now it's gonna change but if you want to take an academy plus subscription you can go for emi option also which is no cost emi and i want to tell you i want to tell you there are going to three special class sessions on rapid fire round on sunday on sunday three special classes i am going to have and those special classes you can attend live freely yes on an academy yes and those are going to be on rapid fire questions so if you want to test your understanding ki aapne topic padha hai let's try to understand ki ye topic aapko clearly samajh mein aaya ki nahi aaya then you can go for what you can go for these classes how you will access those classes go to this particular profile on unacademy profile or unacademy.com or unacademy app vishwadeep gothi follow this you will be getting the notification tonight i will be publishing all these three classes and you will be getting the notification out of it and tomorrow we are going to have the dpp of the disc we are going to solve so many questions of the disc about in 2 hours yes my friends so you will come on dpp on the disc what time 12 pm on the same channel here only on this particular channel to jaldi se aa jao dosto hum aapke sath mein bahut acche question solve karne wale hain tomorrow facebook page we have gate experience that page if you will be connected on then you will be connected with us and then this is the channel this is the channel where i will drop this particular pdf of this particular lecture all the lectures pdf i will be dropping here on this unacademy gate cs channel of telegram so join that channel i will be dropping the pdf of all the lectures on this particular channel okay fine so this is the family if you can recommend your friends of other branches you can recommend for electrical for mechanical civil computer science currently this channel ssc je foundation engineering and there are so many such kind of more channels coming for your free education which is quality education we are trying to provide here okay fine so happy learning everybody enjoy the rest of the day we will meet you again in the next lecture tomorrow 12 pm for the dpp of the disc till then happy learning thank you have a nice day bye bye